dormido Si ha oído la las campanas No tienes que preguntar Que en mi corazón My pupils are village boys In another year or two, when they are 12, 13, perhaps 14 years old, they will leave school to go to work. Most of them will grow up in the life of the village. Now, in a classroom separated from the girls, they learn something about science. They study arithmetic, reading, history. They study about our country, the high barrier of the Pyrenees, the high plateau country, the long coastline that has done much to keep us isolated from the rest of the world in the past. They study about our village here near the southern coast. It is pronounced Mijas. For most of my boys, Mijas, outside the window there, is almost the only part of Spain they will ever get to know. From our mountainside, they can look down on the quiet blue of the Mediterranean. The years, and even our civil war, have not changed Mijas much. We go to church. We raise our families and houses built a hundred years ago. Most of Spain is touched little by the industry that has changed the Western world. Sometimes, when I watch the boys playing up on the ruins of the old Moorish fort, I think of a different time. After Ferdinand and Isabella drove the last of the Moors from Spain, there was a time when we were the most powerful country in the world of the West. It is different now. Each day after school, a boy walks the road from Mijas out into the country. Here, Juan Jose Escalero lives with his mother and father and sister, his aunts and uncles and cousins. We have around Mijas something that much of Spain does not have enough of, water. The Escalero family is blessed with water in a rushing torrent. Rushing water is power to run machines. We people of Spain appreciate power because we have so little of it, except that of our own muscles. The Escaleros use it to run a paper mill to make paper pulp. Juan Jose's father scoops up the pulp on a screen frame. The Escalero family makes paper just as it was made in the Middle Ages, 600 years ago, when people first learned to make paper with the help of water power. The water is squeezed out and the sheets are dried in the sun. Juan Jose, his aunt, his grandmother, and his sister Pilar make the sheets into paper bags. Though there is water power to help, it takes many people much time to make little. Even in our cities, we do not have many big factories. We could have more industry because Spain has coal and iron and could develop the power needed. We have not yet done so. Most of our people work in the old ways. In order to live, there is much for each person in the family to do. Once each week, Rosa, Juan Jose's mother, bakes bread. The flour for the loaves of bread comes from the family's own flour mill.
the millstone is run, of course, by the power from the waterfall. There is often flour to sell to others in Mijas, and the days are rare when there is not good bread on the table of the Escalero family. There are many people in Spain and in Mijas who do not have as much to eat as the family of Juan Jose. They bake the bread, they grind the grain, and out in the fields, they raise the wheat. You do not understand. That gesture means come here. That's better. In Spain, we use many gestures. This means come here. This to look. This means a lot or too much. To drink. To eat. He eats too much and gets very fat. See? You can say a whole sentence. Juan Jose wanted you to look. Mila. A piece of bark. Yes, but a special kind. This is cork. The bark of the cork tree a product important to Spain because it can be sold to other countries. We need the money it brings to buy things from you people outside. And this is another tree that Spain could not very well do without, the olive tree. We export the oil from the olive, but also it is one of our important foods. A man who has bread and olive oil with an orange afterwards can do much work. Our terraced fields are green and beautiful now in the spring. We work hard to keep them so. Three quarters of the people of Spain work on the soil, and yet there is not always enough to eat for everybody. One reason we do not produce more is that our methods are slow and not always the best. And then, in many parts of Spain, there is not enough rain. In those parts, only where there can be irrigation does the soil produce. We are trying to help the water problem by planting trees to replace the forests that used to cover the land. In the Middle Ages, the people cut down most of our trees to make more pasture. We are paying for their mistake. We lead a good life compared with people in many parts of Spain, but even so, there is not much time for siestas. Many people in the village work with esparto grass in their spare time to earn a few extra pesetas. <laughs> Our baskets, like the one used in the field, are made from woven strips of esparto grass. The sanctuary plant gives us another strong fiber. It is used for making reatas, ropes for many purposes. It is used to make alpargates, the sandals that we wear most of the time. Another thing that we need and that we make for ourselves is charcoal. Whenever there is some hardwood, such as wood of an olive tree that has died, we set it afire under a mound of earth. This way it burns very slowly for several days and becomes charcoal. The pieces are then carefully picked out of the dirt. You wonder why we need charcoal? We use it in a brasero to keep warm in our houses on the days when sunny Spain is cold and windy Spain.
The men who work at our marble quarry have other ways of keeping warm. Blocks of Mijas marble are used for buildings and monuments. Slabs are used for floors. The small pieces of marble are useful too. When they have been heated for several days in this underground oven, the heat changes the marble to lime. From it, we make whitewash to put on the walls of our homes. We keep our houses white and our village clean. Each day in Juan Jose's home, Pilar whitewashes the fireplace after Rosa has cooked dinner in it. She lays a mat to keep the floor from getting dirty when animals are brought through to the street from the back of the house. Yes, our town is clean. It is the hard-working women of Mijas who keep it so. <laughs> we are villagers here, a country people. 25 miles away, there is a city called Malaga. But until this day, when Juan Jose started down the mountain road with his father, he had never been to it. On the way, they passed our bus, the only automobile in Mijas. We need a new one, but the cost, including the import duty, is more pesetas than any of us makes in a lifetime. Our bus gets hot, bringing 18 people up the mountainside. But then, it is getting old. To own even a motorcycle, you must be an important person. Only the doctor, the mayor, and the priest have one in our village. The postman comes by burro to bring the mail. Even more often, you will see people on foot, like Sebastian, who takes the fish to Mijas from the coast, six miles away. The train that stops at the Los Bolichas station was built quite a few years before Juan Jose's grandmother was born. Spain does not make things like locomotives and automobiles. To get machines from another country, Spain must produce things to sell like pork and olive oil, which will give her the money to buy. Our problem is that there is little left over to sell after we have used what we need for ourselves. Spain is not all countryside and village. Malaga is like any city with its noise and traffic and people and buildings. To the person from another country, much is familiar. Only some things are strange. You must not think that all Spain is poor. And neither should you think that all city people ride in polished automobiles. Even in the city, the burro is a friend. This one is transporting a boy and a window. On another day, a friend took Juan Jose to the old Moorish fort above Malaga, from which they could see the city and the harbor. That day, there was no bullfight in the Plaza de Toros. At least, no bulls were killed. Many exciting things happen in the city, it is true. 
But you must not think that we do not have good times in Mikas. We love to sing and dance. The people come to watch when there is a dancing class. much excitement when there is a wedding. On another day, a quiet day, sometimes you will see a woman riding behind a man on a horse. You will know that in a house not far off, an important event is about to happen. Doña Maria Nieve is our village dancing teacher but she has another skill that we are even more grateful for. She is the midwife, the woman who delivers our babies. She is a person with training and education, not like the midwives of our grandmother's day. He is walking there with the priest, but he takes care only of sick people. Doña Maria delivers our babies. A birth, a wedding, a day of worship and rest when we can see our friends, these things to us are more important than to the people of the city. And during Easter week, when the Bishop of Malaga came to Mijas, it was an event that we will talk about for months. It is not often that there is so much excitement in Mijas. An ordinary Sunday is a quiet day. Juan Jose, who is an altar boy, may join a game of football between masses. The football is the bladder of a pig. Perhaps the most important thing to us is the family, in our village as in the rest of Spain. We will always ask you to share our meal, but the person outside cannot mean to us what our families do. Will you have an olive, an orange, raisins, dried figs? Rosa makes a fine soup from chickpeas and bones and meat and potatoes. It is in our families that we find comfort and a warmth more important than that given by the brasero of charcoal. These are the things our lives are made of, our families, our work, our faith, and our pleasures. In Mijas, as in the rest of the world. These young people of Spain will find much that is good in our life and much that is hard. Perhaps in their lifetime, our country will bring to them less of the hardship and more of the good. Adios. <laughs> 